I'm Sarah Lacey. And I'm Paul Carr. And welcome to Why Is This News? Sarah, why, why what is this news this week? <laughs> I'm not sure that's proper syntax. It isn't. For a Brit. Isn't um, we are talking about Brazil again. Hooray! And join us in, joining us in the studio is Bob Walheim, who's an entrepreneur who has uh, started a media company in Brazil and wanted to check out the famous glamorous TechCrunch offices, right? Yeah. And now you claim to be from Brazil, and yet you, you have the least Brazilian name. Now, I've never been, I always say on these shows when I've, I've never been to Brazil, so you I know nothing about your lovely country. But I know that your name doesn't sound Brazilian, so explain yourself. It doesn't sound, yeah. Brazil has, you know, people from everywhere. Like, my, my father was German. Uh -huh. He moved some time ago, a long time ago to Brazil. But there are lots of Japanese, Italians, mm -hmm. so we're very It's a melting up. pot. It's a melting pot. I will accept then that you are, well, you are from Brazil. It is the America. Good. Our viewers we are not being to fooled. something the viewers would care about? Okay. So, <laughs> Comscore just put out a survey talking about uh, web growth in Latin America. It's the fastest growing region in the world. And Brazil is not the fastest growing country. You know what it is? Uh, what the fastest growing uh -huh. is? Uh, I don't know. Colombia. My word. Uh, but Brazil. But it's tiny. Yeah, right? but Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> Starting from the. You know what? That, that's that's true. It's that's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's Nailed it. Yeah. So, but uh, <laughs> Brazil grew 20% year over year and added the most users in aggregate. Um, so what's the story with the internet in Brazil? Because penetration is still sort of on the levels of, um, of India or Indonesia or other countries that don't have a ton of infrastructure. Brazil has a pretty good infrastructure. I mean, it's not like one of these emerging markets that you know, rapidly came from poverty into the modern age. It's you know, a country about as old as America, got stabilization, has had some issues. But, but why has the internet taken so long to this pervasive yeah I think you're right in a certain point but but there will still have strong problems in terms of you know economy and poverty mm -hmm. so there's a, a big like 30% of the population that is looking for food right? right so internet will come later after they get food right, right. so I, I think yeah, if you if you take this 30% out uh, and do the numbers again, you're going to see that the growth and, and the amount of people that are online are really, really impressive. You know, mm -hmm. I think Brazilians, they love the new stuff, you know, and all the fathers are buying a computer for their kids, you mm -hmm. know, because they think they're going to learn more and be better, you know, mm -hmm. in life uh, using the computers and, the, and consequently the internet. Uh, but economically, we still need some, some time to, you know, structure the country better and, and uh -huh. that will make a big difference in the internet usage. So it's less infrastructure. It's yeah. less an infrastructure problem like you might have in India. It's more no, of a socioeconomic exactly. disparity problem. Uh, still, right. Got and, it. and I think for the people that have the, the access for, you know, food and, and living and, and all that stuff, mm -hmm. uh, they are crazy willing to have the access to the internet and, and, and I think infrastructure is coming. Quickly. I would like to know why you're all still using Hotmail. Like, I keep reading these numbers that say Hotmail is, and we were well, talking about... Well, the weirdest it, oh. part is that Orkut, it's the only country where Orkut is still the most popular Orkut social and network. Are your two... And yet, you don't even use Gmail. Yeah. <laughs> What's going Hotmail. on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but I think we were, you know, early adopters some time ago, and, and Hotmail was the one that existed, right? Uh -huh. And people didn't change that much. And Orkut is, is like a phenomenal. I don't, I don't really understand, or I have some 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 clues. But you know, I, I went the other day, and a girl came to me, you know, uh, in the streets, and she was like, "Bob, you know, you know the internet, and people are saying that Orkut is going to shut down, and I can't leave without Orkut, you know." Wow. And I said, "No, no, no, they're not going to shut down. I don't think they will, but uh, I think it's it's a more uh, Latin and human approach, you know." People say that Orkut, uh, I don't remember his, his uh, last name, or, you know, uh -huh. Orkut, Zaman something. Yeah. Right. Uh, from being from Turkey, right? People say the culture there, it's much more similar to our culture. Mm -hmm. It's more friendly, more people oriented, and, and more towards our relations and less uh, towards what we have done or achieved, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why when you look at the Facebook numbers in Brazil, they're they're small, right? Mm -hmm. And they're they're growing, but you know, even compared to other Latin mm -hmm. America countries that are much smaller than we are, our Facebook's numbers are, are really right. tiny. There's def sorry, no, go ahead. I was going to say there's definitely a, a, a the, to your point about um, you know the cultural thing. There's definitely a 
culture in Brazil, it seems, of using you know Portuguese language sites and Brazilian sites. Um, we we were talking right. about the numbers before, and well, in other countries in Latin America, say whether they're in the internet business or any business, it's easier to do business with China than it is to do business with, with Brazil, Brazil. If you're Argentina or yeah. Chile <laughs> or even Colombia, so I mean, you guys are sort of like America in that you're a country that really loves Brazilian things. One of the numbers that jumped out to me in this survey was that. Um, 34% of Latin Americans online are from Brazil. So it's not like you dominate the whole continent. But 61% of the e-commerce in the country happens in Brazil. And 95% of that is going to Latin American um, sites. So the money now, isn't leaving. It's right. Just... And to contrast that, in Puerto Rico, 95% uh -huh. of the e-commerce <clears throat> goes to non-Latin American sites. Right. So right. I think it has a lot to do with uh, our size, the mm -hmm. size of the country, and the language. Mm -hmm. Right, the language makes a big difference, and we are speaking Portuguese, basically along the word. Oh, sorry, Portugal, you know, like and, Portugal. <laughs> no, and, and, sorry, and, and, yeah. Angola, Angola, Angola. Yeah, yeah. and some other African well, countries. Well, it's harsh in Angola. Yeah, but we are almost two hundred. I think you just missed the Portuguese people. speaking people of Portugal. It's like yeah. we're the only ones who speak about well, Portugal. Well, we just missed Brits. I know. It's like it's like when yeah, Americans yeah, are like American. it's our language. It's like well, American. actually, point of order, it's our language. Yeah, yeah. we're bigger though, so yeah, I hear. Yeah, and 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 I think. In general, our economy is kind of closed too. You know, we do a lot of you know transactions with other countries. You know, but even with Latin America, you know, we're so big. You know, mm -hmm. that we have such a strong internal market that you know most companies they are focused for internal purposes before. Mm -hmm. You know, that sometimes they take long years to to start looking outside mm -hmm. other markets. Mm -hmm. You know. And in Latin America, it's funny because we speak Portuguese and all other countries speak Spanish. They're not the same Spanish, but quite the same Spanish. And it, it seems like we're, it's us against everyone else, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not, but it's very different, mm -hmm. you know. Our culture, because of the language, because of the you know, historical facts, it's, it's much different from Argentina and Colombia and all these countries that speak Spanish, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and what do you think about Brazil's relationship with Silicon Valley? I and mean, we've talked about a lot on the show that it's surprising that how close Brazil is, there's not more of a connection between the two. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of investors I know who are making their first trips to Brazil, kind of looking into the market, but very few investments so far. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a, that's a pity. I'm here for that. I'm, I'm looking, you know, for, for results on you know visiting some companies exactly to start spreading this 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 knowledge and and uh, and specifically something that is uh, incredible here is like the the failure acceptance mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and that's the that's the reason for success I mm -hmm. think you know you can fail and you can do it again even right? as a Brit I find that amazing about Silicon Valley compared to the, you know anywhere else in the world is that. Yeah, in Britain, if you fail, you're that guy who failed at that thing. Whereas here, it's like, oh, well done. You, you know, you learned from that failure. And I think the important thing to recognize is um, a lot of Brazilians I meet say this is an American thing. I think it's a specifically Silicon, Silicon Valley, Valley thing. I mean, you yeah. go to other parts of the United States, there, you know, and no, if, no. if someone was going to drop out of school to start a company, parents would be like, shocked. what? You mm -hmm. know, and right, so it's right. And I think the, the the macroeconomic thing is that for the last, you know, only for the last twenty years or so, we've been stable. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And that made a big difference because people were really scared to go yeah. down there and invest down there because, you know, laws could change and, right. you know, contracts would not be respected. And for the last 20 years, that's happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it's being respected and the laws are not changing that much. We still have a, a little bit too much of bureaucracy, mm -hmm. but it's getting better and better. So that's, that, that's, that, that's why I think, you know, people are starting to look and say, hey, let's... let's Explore and see what we can do. There are some companies already investing there, you know, and and especially on the startup moment, right? It's like it's almost a piece of paper, right? So yeah. with big stuff, it, it really happens. You know, mm -hmm. there are lots of big you know, multinationals, Americans are from everywhere down there. But for a startup, you know, you have to trust the entrepreneur, right? And a piece of paper or maybe a PowerPoint and 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 go for it, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and that will need some time yeah. still. You know? I think the biggest thing you need, frankly, are just big returns and people won't worry about the other stuff so much. I mean, you look at Israel, a place with tons of violence, with tons of insecurity, with tons of instability, and, you know, continues to get... <laughs> I'd say insecurity biggest... isn't something that I've ever met an Israeli suffered from. <laughs> <laughs> but I take your point. 
As in the opposite of security. I got it. Um, and people, you know, still have invested in Israel in droves and have invested in Israel as uh, warfare in the region was escalating. Um, by the same token, India is ranks one of the worst countries by the World Bank in terms of ability to enforce legal contracts, which you'd think would put investors off, but they don't. And they it's don't, because yeah. of opportunity and entrepreneurs and results. So you guys get a few good companies. Yeah. And for all yeah. the reasons people say people don't invest mm. in Brazil will go away. Yeah, yeah, I think you're, I think you have a point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Well, well, lucky for me, we're out of time, so we'll just end yeah, my point. Okay. Paul, would you like to add anything? I have nothing else to add except that you should really give Gmail a try. I think you'll find it, I think you'll like it. I do, <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, thank you very much, and join us next week on Why Is This News? Thank you. <laughs>